you know, what are the ways that you, through your challenge groups, get people to get results? You know, I remember just real briefly um, looking at this study that, that talked about that it's, it's, you know, I know it seems hard to get people to say yes, but it's even harder once they say yes to actually get them engaged and actually doing something. Um, so, so how do some, it looks like, Anita, you wanna jump in there? $50 gift card to Nike. Like, my people go nuts for that. Like, they stay on board every week. They're like, I can win this gift card. So like prizes, little prizes, or like a lunchbox, or I don't know what the budget limit is, compliance. I don't know what that moment is. Are we allowed to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone else want to jump in? Just touch about that. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. No, there are, actually, I don't know the rule, but but there there is a but you know because whenever Gelfand's talking, I kind of zone out. Uh, but um, but 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 there there are. You can, through compliance, learn. There, there is a protocol by which you can create incentives for recognition and rewards for people getting things done. But there are lines that you have to be careful. So make sure you check in with cannot compliance. Cannot be for recruiting. And cannot absolutely recruiting. not for absolutely recruiting. Not. You can't say, sign up and I'll give you a, you know, a $50 PayPal gift certificate so no one will know. Uh, you can't do that, absolutely. But little incentives to keep people going, promotions, things like that, there, you, that is allowable. We were just kidding, Anita. Who, who else, Megan? Um, I think what's really, um, what really helps in my challenge groups is empowering people um, from the very beginning. Our very first day, we don't talk about anything, health and fitness, it's all about Tell me about you. I want to know everything about your family. You know what you do for a living. Um, what your favorite color is. Whatever it is, um, just really breaking the ice from the beginning. Um, and then throughout the challenge group, I'll do posts um, that really, you know, have them share a story and kind of get them to start doing the activities that a coach does already. Because um, we all know that challengers make fantastic coaches, so that's kind of what I focus on throughout the challenge group. Is how about how about today we share, um, you know, one victory that you've had over the past however many weeks on your Facebook page, and then we're going to go over there and cheer you on um, and really support you because you've done a fantastic job, and we want to celebrate that. So um, any kind of empowerment or um, like the games are fun, you know, water tag and. Um, little contests and stuff like that, but really having them start sharing those stories uh, and encouraging them to do that on their social media. So also, you know, when you come around and invite them to join your team, it's it's a piece of cake, you know? It's like, hey, you're already doing it. You're, you're a pro, so. Yeah, same so. thing, sorry, it was even worse now. Um, jumping on that, you know, like, you have to get in and set clear expectations. And I think a lot of people just jump in, they buy the challenge pack and they just, wing it, you know, and I think if you set really clear expectations of, you know, if you fall off, this is in the beginning when they're most motivated, right? Say like, if I stop seeing you show up to the group, how do you want me to approach you? Because I want to be able to help, you know, coach you through this process. And I know there's going to be times where it's going to be difficult. So ahead of even start date, saying, how do you want me to reach out to you? Do you want me to text you? Is there certain, do you want me to be like the Jillian Michaels type coach? Or do you want me to be like the loving Bob? You know, like which one do you want me to be? Who do you need me to be as your coach? So that you have a set expectation. And that way when they do fall off, you can say, hey, remember when we talked in the beginning and you said you wanted me to reach out to you and be Jillian Michaels? Well, I'm telling you, get your butt up and get on, I haven't seen you in 48 hours, whatever. You know, so it makes it so much easier for you to be a coach. You're not so scared that you're gonna offend them or anything like that. You set that clear expectation. Yeah, I remember Lindsay when we first introduced challenge.